Atoms connect together to form groups called molecules and compounds. Here are a few examples of individual elements like oxygen, hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, chlorine, and fluoride. Elements are different in their atoms' properties. Different number of protons, neutrons, and electrons determine what the element is. For example, oxygen has 8 protons and 8 electrons and 8 neutrons. All these information can be found on the periodic table and of course, more when you learn chemistry. When atoms combine together, they form molecules. Molecules simply mean more than one atom. Compounds are molecules that have more than one type of elements. These are compounds. These are molecules, but are not compounds because it's the same element, even though there are more than one atom. Next up, energy level. Back in the old days, scientists thought that the electrons just sit outside the nucleus. Later, they discovered that the electrons were orbiting the nucleus. The electrons move in circular motion around the nucleus. The proton's positive charge keeps the electron from flying off. Thus, this creates the first energy level, the distance the electrons are away from the nucleus. There are two occasions when electrons are further away from the nucleus. One, when an atom has a lot of electrons, some of the electrons closer to the nucleus will repel the others. Thus, the others will be further away, at the second or third energy level. Secondly, electrons that absorb energy from an outside source will also jump from the first energy level to the next. However, this is not permanent, eventually the electron will return to its original state. This process occurs all the time. One of the most natural energy is sunlight. A. When the light energy hits the electrons. B. The electron will jump. And then C. Eventually falls back down to its original state. When this happens, the electron will release two things light and heat. Everything in the world releases heat, just at different quantity. Let's take a blue car for an example. When sunlight hits the car, the electron of the car will release light in the color of blue. That blue will bounce towards us and we see a blue car. Released with the light is heat, which is why when you touch a car under the hot sun, you feel the hotness of the car. Now let's take a green wall in your room for example. When you turn on the light, that light will strike the wall. That wall will release green light, which you will see green. However, the energy from your light bulb isn't too strong, so the electron will not be releasing as much heat as the blue car under the sun. We will pick up more on heat in the later chapter. Hey Rudy, you still here? That you are a wonderful student, and I'm glad to have you in my class. Ha ha ha.